<laughs> I think we have one or two stragglers, but I'm going to get going so you guys can get going in the camera. Well, guys, good morning. I'm Ranger Duffy. I am the Channel Islands Ranger stationed here at Santa Cruz Island. How many of you guys have been here with me before? Okay, so mostly just the adults. So for you guys as kids that are here, I know you guys are on with the Boy Scouts, correct? Yes. Okay, so with that, as you guys as my Boy Scouts that are here, I have a couple of expectations of you guys. First off, I hold you guys at a much higher standard than I hold the general public because you guys are my future stewards to the land that we're standing on and to the ocean that is behind me. So with that, some of my higher expectations for you guys is first off, see all these lovely rocks there on the beach? I would prefer if you guys not touch them. To leave them be. If you don't, do me a favor. If you guys are going to throw rocks, first off, do not, do not throw them off a cliff. So if you guys notice how high up these cliffs are, that will injure someone, and I don't want that happening. So beyond that, if you guys absolutely have to throw rocks, please head down the beach over there and do so. We don't want to do it while the boats are coming in and out. In addition, um, when you guys are in the campgrounds, please do me a huge favor, because um, it looks really bad when the people complain to me about the Boy Scouts throwing things at the campgrounds. Um, as a gentle reminder, and this has happened with the Boy Scout group before, please don't throw knives while you guys are in the campground. <laughs> yes, that has happened and that was a Boy Scout group. Um, so I'm going to kind of do your guys' orientation from the beach on up. So for any adults in the group, we only allow smoking here on the beach. This should not apply to any of you guys' kids. If it does, don't smoke anywhere other than on the beach. Um, you guys all brought compressed gas with you guys. And the reason we do that is we don't want to accidentally burn down the island. That's actually why we don't allow smoking in the campground. So for you guys, the day that you guys leave, you guys are going to have to pack up all your gear at 11 o'clock and leave it down here. See how these guys have all of their stuff covered? If you guys could do that for me, if you guys brought tarts, please do that. The reason that we're asking you guys to do it is there are local island ravens that are circling above me right now. They like to break into your guys' stuff. They steal the stuff that is important to you guys, which basically what that means is you expect your cell phones to be gone. Um, for you guys as adults, your car keys are going to be gone. Uh, they're looking for food, but they will tear your guys' entire backpack apart. They weigh 25 pounds a piece. They have no issues getting into your guys' backpack. So just make sure your guys' stuff is protected when it is down here. Once we go beyond that, if you guys brought kayaks, please leave your kayaks at the kayaking storage facility. Beyond that, you guys are going to see the visitor center, a lovely white house. If you guys have an emergency, um, particularly for you guys to see adults, just a reminder, I don't live there. Please go beyond that. Go to the corral. Run up that road. I don't care if it's 3 o'clock in the morning. If it is an emergency, please come and get me. Um, there's kind of not many ways off the island. Mind you guys, I am a paramedic, so I have a very dark sense of humor. So my joke is there's three ways off of this island. It's a boat, it's a helicopter, and it is a body bag. So I take your guys' safety very seriously. So with that, make sure when you guys are hiking around, bring extra water, bring more than you guys think you're going to need. The cliff faces, if you guys are going to be doing this and going, oh, let me, let me take a selfie, do me a favor, please don't go like that. Um, that is an excellent way to back up off the cliff here. You guys notice, like I said, the height of these cliffs, that is not a survivable fall. So do me a favor, give these cliff faces a wide berth. I generally speaking, when I'm up there, I give it about a person's length out. What you guys can't see, sometimes some of these cliffs also get undercut, so those edges can actually crumble out right from underneath people as well. So once you guys are actually in the campgrounds, a couple of housekeeping rules. Please keep a nice, neat, clean site. Right now, you guys are visitors to our foxes that actually live here on the island with me. Do you guys know if they were delisted this year and they're no longer an endangered species? Yay! Yes, exactly. So, but with that, they are still protected. So please do not treat them like pets. Please treat them like the wild animals that they are. Um, they're going to be in and out of your guys' campsites the entire time that you guys are here. Um, if you guys want, you guys can clap loudly, but um, please do not chase the box. Do not throw rocks at them. Do not throw sticks at them. That actually can injure them, and then they have to go back to the mainland to go to the vet. They don't get to go home on a helicopter if they get hurt. 
you guys get hurt, you may get to go home on a helicopter, but they don't get to. So with that, just be kind, be gentle with them, um, basic things. Do not leave your guys' food out, don't leave dirty dishes out, don't leave um, half eaten granola bars out. Keep everything nice and neat. In addition, guys, they're canines, um, so if you guys just leave your shoes sitting out, um, expect your shoes to get peed on. Expect your dirty socks and dirty underwear to go missing. They like to steal stuff. Um, humans have a lot of salt, so that's why they like to steal your guys' socks. 